you've seen how exciting it can get when somebody goes pro se in a courtroom. But what about if the person who's pro se is a lawyer and is in a deposition? I've been in a lot of depositions. I've seen a lot of depositions. I hadn't seen one like this before. Let's check it out. We are on the record at 9 6 Today is March 12, 2018. You may want to drink for this one. Testimony of Robert Abrams, taken in the matter of Johnson Marcus versus Jacob Daniel et al. Case number 17, CD 30522, in the district court for the city and county of Denver, Colorado. Today we're located at 11016 Street. 1400 in Denver. I am the videographer, Timothy Auerbrenner. The appropriate recorder is Devon Basinger. Will all attorneys please introduce themselves? Let's get this party started. Thomas Wurge on behalf of Plaintiff Justin Moskowitz. Attorney Robert Abrams, license 37950, appearing pro se. Pro Neil Sellenberger, attorney registration 48698 for the firm. For the firm. Will the court report please swear to the deponent? So I'm going to ask you to raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under penalty of law? I do. Thank you. Go time. Good morning, Mr. Abrams. Dude, didn't even As you know, my name is Tom Birch. I'm counsel for plaintiff Justin Moskowitz in this lawsuit. And do you understand why you've been asked to give your deposition today? No. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Are you aware that your firm, Abrams and Associates, is a defendant in a lawsuit that's going to trial next month? Yes. And are you aware that you are a witness regarding the actions of Abrams and Associates? Yes. Excellent. Have you had your deposition taken before? I think so. When? Have you had your deposition taken before? I don't recall. How many times? I I don't recall. You have when you're sitting here today under oath, you have no idea whether you've been deposed before? I've answered, answered form. I've answered that question, object to form, move on. Nice. Mr. Abrams, have you been deposed? Objective before? form. Objective form. Move to certify the question. If you feel that I haven't answered then you can move for a sanction. We're gonna go ahead and stop the deposition at this point and dial the special master. We're going off the record. No, we're staying on the record, please. Okay. The record for trying to call a judge. So quickly in a depo, gotta be. Would you be prepared to read back my answer to the special master regarding counsel's questions as to whether or not I answered that question? Good morning. Could we speak with David Tenor, please? Uh, let me check and see. Uh, I think it's Nancy Sullivan. Thank you. Yes, these are the parties from the Moskowitz versus Dahlman matter, and we are in the middle of a deposition this morning. You know that special master is like. Thank you. Not in the office at the moment. Can I get a number and have him call you back? Yes, that would be great. If you could please. Okay. I'll send him an email right now. Appreciate it. Fantastic. I'm at your book. Bye bye. Can we Mr. Stay Abrams. On the record here? Sure. Yeah, we're still oh, okay. yeah. uh, Mr. Abrams, I want to ask you one more time. Okay, one more. Have you had your deposition taken before? Objective form. Asked and answered. Move on. You need to answer the question. The yeah, question was answered. Excuse me. Have her read it back. Yep. Mr. Abrams, this is not your deposition. Please don't harass me. No, I'm, I'm not harassing we're you. Move for sanctions I'm asking you, you to, if you're to not answer going the question. To allow he just her. answered the question. He did not answer the question. He just said he did not recall. That's an answer to the question. So it, it's your testimony under oath today, Mr. Abrams, that you do not recall whether or not you've ever been deposed before. Asked and answered. And 
So please read the answer back. You need to back. answer my questions, Mr. Abrams. Please read the answer back. No, do not read the answer back, Mr. Abrams. Like, well, like the answer would be right Let's back. move on. How many times have you been named in a lawsuit in your individual capacity? I can't recall. Have you ever been named in a lawsuit in your individual capacity? I think so. Okay. And when do you think that you were added as a defendant to a lawsuit in your individual capacity? It may have been, if I get it right, it may have been in the BB matter. So it's your testimony today. You've been added. You, you were a defendant in a lawsuit in one matter, and that was the BB matter. Is that Check correct? Form. I think I think they added me as an individual defendant and they lost the case that went to jury trial. I think that's my recollection. I don't remember it very well. The man Bibi attacked me in a stairwell and at my garage, and I think he named me individually in that suit, and then he lost that suit. That's my recollection. Let me ask the question again, Mr. Abrams. Uh oh. Is this BB matter that you're referring to the only time you remember being added as a defendant in a lawsuit? Objective form. I, to my recollection, yes, that's my answer. And you said the other party was named BB? Yes. Okay. Could you, what is the, what was the other party's full name? B. Sean B. Beeson. We call him BB. Who doesn't? I represented him in a matter where him and his wife were both arrested for DUI. He was thrown in a drug tank for being belligerent and he sued the city. And then I put a restraining order on him for nine months for attacking me in a stairwell. And then he sued, I can't remember if he sued me individually, but I think he did. And then he lost that suit outright at jury verdict. So we're gonna to move to strike that as irrelevant, um, object to form, and that it's gonna to lead to non-discoverable evidence. Under the rules of Mr. evidence- Mr. Abrams, you are not me, allowed to- me. I am allowed to interrupt he's, you. He's, this is my he's giving his answer. answer. You can't, this and my you, answer. It, this it is my not, answer. you are not allowed you, to put objections on the record. You are a witness today. And Mr. Abrams, you are represented by counsel. Your counsel is allowed to put objections on the record. You are not today. I am a lawyer. Do you understand I, that? I am a lawyer. I don't need a lecture from you who doesn't understand the rules of evidence. Under the rules of evidence, the only thing that can come in under the rules of evidence is truthfulness and untruthfulness. So to the extent that you're trying to disparage me because you have me on videotape and embarrass me for things that you can't bring in, I'm going to raise, move to strike, find it objectionable, and then move for sanctions for harassment under rule I like how he D. answered the question and then moved to strike Mr. right Abrams. after he answered it. I feel quite confident that if any sanctions are entered in this matter, it's going to be against you. Objective form. For continuing to obstruct and not answer Objection. any of my questions. Objective, Objection. 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 form. You cannot object. I just did. You cannot. I just did. I'm a lawyer. I'm, I'm a licensed, unblemished member of the bar. <laughs> unblemished. If you laugh at me one more time, we're going to walk out. We're going to move for 30 D3 sections. We're going to move for harassment sanctions against you right now. Okay, you're laughing at us with the videotape that you published on, on, on the internet about you and your rock band, and you're going to be laughing at me. Dude. And you've moved for sanctions and had them denied every single time in this matter, and the jury should see that too. Every single one has led to no sanction. Mr. Abrams, are, are the you last aware? One where we quashed all of your subpoenas. And you, get, and you asked for attorney's fees and you got no sanction. Mr. Abrams. Let's move on. Do you have a question you, for me? You sued me. You sued my firm belligerently under the abuse of your law license where we counter sued you. We have a counterclaim against you for abuse of process for misusing your law license. We, you sued me for fraud, civil conspiracy, I mean, not civil conspiracy, conspiracy, which is a criminal act. And so you did that wrong. And aiding and abetting, which is a criminal act. So you did that wrong. Ask me questions about that or I'm leaving. This is going smoothly. Very nice. <clears throat> Mr. Abrams. Yes. We're going to be here for a long time today if you do not answer my questions. 
I just want to let you know that right now. Object to form. And put that on the record, Mr. Sullenberger. I'm sorry. This stop is, laughing at yeah, my yeah, this I, is this is Stop laughing at my bizarre. lawyer and stop harassing us. Listen, um, let's, you let's, brought us down here for fraud. Ask us fraud questions. Mr. Abrams, how many times has your firm been added as a defendant in any lawsuit? As I can recall, one in the BB matter. So the BB matter and then this matter as well? Those are the only two times you recall that your firm has been added as a defendant? Yes, as I recall. Okay. Smooth. They're back together. Aside from traffic tickets, have you ever been named in a criminal action? Objective form. Uh, objective form and privilege. So I assert privilege and need not answer. Nice. What privilege are you asserting, sir? Attorney client privilege and we would Under the law, I need not answer that. What law are you referring to, Mr. Abrams? I need a law book. It's, and I move to a strike and I move for, uh, um, I move to strike the question. I refuse to answer under privilege. And I move for a protective order on the question. So certify the question and move on. Okay. You've again not answered my questions. You've Objective made a form. absolutely baseless assertion of privilege. Are you aware that in a deposition, the proper objections that your lawyer are allowed to make are as to form and as to foundation? Mm -hmm. If there is a matter that's privileged and your lawyer objects to it on the basis of privilege, he can instruct you not to answer. Otherwise, you need to answer all of the questions that Objective I give to you form. today. Do you understand that, Mr. Abrams? He's raising an objection to privilege. There's a pending question. Could you please read it back? This is an interesting use of attorney-client privilege, if that's what he's talking about. Because uh, what law are you referring to, Mr. Abrams? He needs a law book. Uh, uh oh, do you see that? Aside from traffic tickets, have you ever been named in a criminal action? Double fisting the drinks. Get that down. So, objection, privilege. Move on. All right. You are not answering the question today. You're objective to form, answer it, objective Mr. privilege. Abrams. Move on. Move on. It's the answer. Objection, privilege. Move on. What privilege are you asserting today, Mr. Sullen? Attorney client privilege. He's already answered the question. So, Mr. Abrams is saying he has an attorney client privilege over himself being named as a criminal uh, defendant. Yes. And the question's intended to harass and annoy. And under 30D3, again, we're going to move for sanctions for repeated conduct like this. This I is real life. I can't get through my initial questions that's because your, you are being we, so obstructionist. That's today. because you're a weak lawyer. But go ahead. You sued me for fraud. Ask me fraud questions. Okay. You sued my firm for fraud, aiding and abetting, and conspiracy. You have no evidence. Put something in front of me and we'll answer the questions. You have nothing. You have nothing. Mr. Put Abrams, something are you aware that Judge Starrs already ruled that there is substantial evidence against your form, firm that you committed fraud? Object to for misrepresentation. Are you aware? Mischaracterization. The fact that the judge let you bring your bogus claim against us doesn't mean that it's merit full. Do you have a fraud question for me? Please answer the question. He just did ask me. Are you aware. aware? Yes, I'm aware. Move on. Mr. Abrams, yes. have you ever been arrested? Objective form, and privileged attorney client. What? Is it? And you're instructing your client not to answer that question on the basis of attorney client privilege, Mr. Sullenberger. It's my understanding that Mr. Abrams uh, had an attorney for those for any issues that may have arisen, and therefore he can assert. The I also don't recall being what, arrested. What part of my question asked for any attorney client privilege? He's not being deposed. I don't have to, I objected, I, I objected to questions. form, I objected for privilege for Mr. Abrams. 
I am going to end this deposition now. Okay. Mr. Abrams, we're going to continue it while we seek intervention of the special master. All right. It's clear that you are not here to answer any it's questions. Clear today, that you're harassing and us. you are refusing to answer We've any answered questions. Answer every question, today. read every question. Yeah, yeah, you have not. We disagree. Okay, let's ask one? a couple more questions. Mr. Abrams, what are the pills that you just took? <laughs> Object to form. None of your business. Not a privilege. Not a what are those? Business. What are those other pills? Object to form. Of an object business. to privilege. None of your business. Medical privilege. Don't Mr. Abrams, are you under any uh, the the any drugs today? Have you taken any drugs before you came to this deposition today? No. Okay. Have you taken any alcohol before you came to this deposition today? No. Any any medication whatsoever? No. No. Just these pills that you're taking here. Yes. That you are refusing to answer what they are. Yes. Medical None privilege. Of your business. Mm -hmm. Okay. And none of but your business I can tell right. you that if you took some of these, they would help get some of your weight off. Mm. I can tell you that. Oh, you're referring to when you called me fat when you walked in here. Objective right? form. You, know you don't recall that? Okay. <laughs> well, we have a couple of witnesses to that, including Mr. Sullenberger. Uh, in any event. If you want to raise your weight problem, Mr. Ward, with the jury and with the special master, please do. But we're not the ones that are sitting here in that condition. Oh, man. Mr. Abrams, this is called off the rails. Do you recall the motion to quash the subpoena for your testimony yes. that you filed? Um, and, and you attempted to quash the subpoena to disallow your deposition to be taken, correct? Objective form. I don't recall that. I remember we successfully quashed your bad faith depositions. You moved for attorney's fees and you were denied by the special master. That's my recollection that he found them that that he found them. When we told you I would be out of town to, in bad faith, then schedule the deposition to pull me out of my vacation, he found that to be objectionable, and he commended me on taking a, a vacation um, under the stresses of this profession. So I remember the special master commending me and quashing you. That's my recollection. Are you here today pursuant to the subpoena? Yes. Okay. So your subpoena didn't get quashed, did it? Yes, it did. <laughs> sure didn't. Yes, it did. Argumentative. Move on. <laughs> okay. What are you and laughing at? Why do you keep laughing? What is it with you? Why don't you look at the camera and laugh at them? Mr. Abrams, you're you're, your you're testimony being is being taken Just today. ask me some questions about fraud, civil conspiracy, and one of the trumped up things you did under your license that we're moving for sanctions against you. Do you realize we sued you for abuse of your law license? Do you realize that? And that we're going to continue to sue you for the way that you've been treating in this matter? You have no evidence. If you do, show the jury, put it in front of us, we'll ask questions. You haven't put one document in front of us. Open something up and make this a meaningful deposition or let me go. Okay. What is think? there anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Abrams? Depends on what your next question is. In the motion that you filed to quash the subpoena, isn't it true that you admitted to the special master that you were in fact in town? Objective form. We told the special master in a pleading that I returned at home at 3.30 in the morning on the same day that you scheduled my deposition and that there was no way I was going to be able to come to the deposition with no sleep. We found so you were in town at defense. the time, you were in town on the time that you were scheduled to be deposed, but Objective you nevertheless form. moved to Asked and answered. Why? Mr. Abrams, are you refusing to answer? Object to form. Well, why? You don't get to not answer when you object. Object to form. Do you understand? I answered the question, and I even told you what time I returned on the day. What more? Why are you harassing me? Mr. Abrams, Stop harassing listen me. to my questions. Today, that your job is to listen to my questions and answer your questions under oath. Do you understand? Judge to ask, form. For, asked and answered. Move on. I'm waiting for your answer, Mr. Abrams. Her first question was the same question you asked. If we need to go back to the very beginning to ask whether I said I would be here under oath, we can go back and ask the court reporter. Mr. Abrams, in that motion, you included that Mr. Abrams' anxiety requires him to take medication on extended flights that impairs Mr. Abrams' facilities. Uh, can you please explain what medication you were referring to in Objective your filing? Objective form no. medical privilege. Privilege. Medical privilege. Yes. 
Move yes, on. Your what privilege is that? None of your Absolutely business. No right. No, what medicine I take is none of your business. Move on. You filed a motion with the special master saying that because of a certain medication that yep. you take, you take, you could not sit for your deposition. Yes, that medicine is none of your business. Right. Move and, on. And now you've, you've come into this deposition today mm-hmm. with a handful of pills yep. that you refuse to answer questions about yes, what they are. None of your business. HIPAA protection privilege. Move <laughs> on. We are going to continue this deposition now, Mr. Abrams. You have made it clear you are not willing to answer any of the questions today. You have been objecting. We are going to move for sanctions against you and your firm for your conduct during this deposition. And we will take that up with the special master. And we'll represent your conduct during this deposition. Please do. For the record, since the moment we walked in here, I and my counsel have answered every single question and rightfully asserted 30 D, I think it's 30 D3 for harassment. We've answered every single question. We've asserted privilege where counsel refused to accept privilege. And we've been nothing but harassed under 30 D3. We're moving for sanctions. We're moving to quash the deposition for future. And we're here to answer all of the questions regarding why my law firm was surreptitiously brought into this lawsuit for fraud, conspiracy, and aiding. And he hasn't asked one question in furtherance thereof. We will continue all three of the depositions that are scheduled for today because it is very clear that Mr. Abrams, Mr. Sullenberger, and their firm intend to obstruct discovery in this matter and do not intend to answer the questions today. We will ask that it be reconvened before the special master with Abrams and Associates to pay the full amounts of everything associated with the depositions, including the special master's fee. And we will be filing a motion to take that up with the special master today. We disagree. We're filing the exact same motion and seeking the exact same sanctions. Anything else? We will continue the deposition and go off the record at this time. We're going off the record at 9.30. Well, that was special. Again, they're not normally like that, but I thought you'd want to see some pro se action that showed up on my timeline. That's it. Thanks. Bye.